Technologies, what are they for? People have been designing and creating technologies for generations. Over time, these technologies have been used to find and solve problems that people face all over the world. For example, how to source, gather and prepare food, create shelter and protection from the elements, or simply for human connection, belonging and communication. A desire to confront problems and find solutions is what drives people to create and use technologies. Finding ways to make life easier, more convenient or improve living standards for everyone in the community are what technologies are all about. Learning about technologies helps us to understand how the things we use every day actually work, how they were imagined, created, improved and delivered to others. Technologies in the Australian curriculum are divided into two distinct but connected subjects. They are design and technologies and digital technologies. Both of these subjects have two interwoven strands, knowledge and understanding and processes and production skills. Central to both subjects are the ideas that we can influence the future in positive ways through the processes required to manage a project from start to finish. Let's think about digital technologies. Digital technologies are not just about being able to use a computer, a phone or a tablet. Digital technologies are about understanding how these technologies were imagined, created and used. Digital technologies in the Australian curriculum involves using computational thinking to come up with creative solutions that could lead to better ways of doing things. We use computational thinking every day to look at a problem, break it down into easier parts, find patterns and come up with a systematic, efficient way to solve it. To do this, we need to collect, find and use data. Data is raw information that is yet to be organised in logical ways so that we can use it more easily. The way we use computers and devices to create solutions is an important part of the digital technology subject, but it is not the whole story. So, with this in mind, let's think about a student in a South Australian school. Let's call her Samira. Samira has been learning to solve problems from birth. How can I let them know that I am hungry? How does this block fit? How does this game work? How do I do that? How might Samira's teacher build on this so that she develops a deep understanding of digital technologies? How does the teacher help Samira think like a computer scientist and become a person who understands how to create and use technologies to develop innovative solutions to local and global problems? Samira has always been interested in how things grow. Her class is working with the Botanic Gardens by planting seeds of threatened indigenous plants at the creek behind her school. Now she wants to help repopulate endangered species of plants, so she collects information about the growth of the plants and the insects that visit them and passes this information on to the Botanic Gardens who are creating a massive online database to provide to climate scientists. Samira has worked out how to use some simple commands, sometimes referred to as code, to program a basic soil sensor to track the moisture available to the plants. She has put all her information into a spreadsheet. Samira has used the information she has collected to create an infographic about each of the plants and the council want to publish her information on a walking trail to inform visitors to the creek. We are not so interested in whether Samira can input data into a program. We are interested in how and why she uses computational thinking and digital technologies to work with others to come up with solutions to complex local and global problems. We want Samira to consider the ideas that shaped her thinking about how digital technologies work and how she could use them to imagine new things, fix problems and consider who she might be helping in the process. We want Samira to take these concepts into her everyday life and understand that digital technologies can be used to create solutions that can make life easier or more convenient for people in her immediate or global communities. 
When we catch up with Samira a few years later, we can see that she is using her deep knowledge of digital technologies to make connections between ideas and solutions. She thinks about the possible consequences of the decisions she makes in order to consider who will be helped by those decisions. By interweaving knowledge and understanding with processes and production skills, we can see that Samira has developed a strong network of people, experts, friends, colleagues to draw on, allowing her to share new ideas, collect and organize relevant data and develop and carry out a series of steps that could lead to ethical innovations. She is able to build on what she knows to effectively change her world by creating sustainable solutions to the problems she may encounter in her local and global environments.